Hi everyone, Blaine here, and I'm going to show you today how to update the Zebo mod uh, if you're using an outdated version. Uh, it's very similar to the installation and configuration video that I showed you. Uh, the difference here is that you already have the file and you need a newer version, so uh, how would you do that? Some people may not, uh, may not know, or they may not know a, a, the correct way to do it, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you would want to do, first of all, is you would want to open a browser, doesn't matter whether it's Chrome or Firefox or uh, Safari or whatever you're using. And then go to Google and then type in Zebo Mod and hit enter. The first result that uh, should return will be the Zebo Mod on the Xplain forms and you would want to go ahead and open that. And then you would scroll down to the bottom of the first post which has the download links. And you would want to go to Link Zebo Mod which takes you to Zebo's Google Drive. In the Zebo mod folder here, you can then download uh, the most current versions. So the video that I used uh, a while ago, it showed version 329 Charlie. Now we obviously have two new versions. We have 3.29 Delta and 3.29 Echo. 3.29 Echo being the most current one. So if we wanted to patch this uh, version so that this was the newer one, we'd want to download and replace this file. So you'd simply select this file, right click on it and hit download. Now I've already downloaded it so I'm not going to, uh, but it would download to whatever folder you have set. And then what you would need to do is prepare the file uh, to, be, uh, to be basically extracted and used. So what I do is, is I always install the newest version uh, through a full fresh install because that's a cleaner way to do it and it just reduces the chance of either having errors or conflictions with, uh, with the file structure. So. If the version I'm currently using is stable and it works properly, I always want to be able to have a backup of that so that I know if for whatever reason the version I'm about to download doesn't work, I can go back to the old one until it's been perfected or hotfixed by Zebo. So I have a backup folder in my Xplain uh, file and I have a Zebo folder for the version that I last used. So what I do is I replace that backup file as I need to. So because I'm about to patch to 3.29 Echo, I go into my aircraft folder, I go into my Zebo folder, and I would basically cut this folder and I would then put it in my backup folder. This backup folder is just a regular file folder that I made. It, it doesn't have any specific or special things about it. It's just a file folder I made. So then I'd go into Zebo and I would delete this version and then I would paste the old version. So this version is 3.29 um, Charlie, which I know is stable. So then I would go back into my Zebo aircraft folder here, and I would get ready to use uh, the newest version. So I use uh, 7-zip, uh, which works really good. There's a variety of other ones you can use if you want. So I go 7-zip, and then I go extract, and I make a folder, and it's going to take a second to do that. So now we can see that it's extracted and we're going to go ahead and use this. So we would go into it and we would basically copy this folder over to the new uh, to the new file folder where we're going to be using uh, Zebo's aircraft. Now this is obviously the new version and that's great but there's a couple of things that we have to do because when you do a fresh install, it basically erases all of your settings or your uh, your libraries or anything like that, and you want to keep that stuff because it takes a while to find it or download it. Uh, so what I do in this instance is I go back to my backup folder, and I go into the Zebo that I just used or that I just moved, and then what I'll do is I'll open this in a new folder, so it's side by side. So I just go open in a new window and then I would close the download one because I don't need it anymore. If you're using a Windows computer, this is a little trick, if you hold down the Windows button on your keyboard and hit either the left or right arrow, it will size the window correctly to the frame of the screen so that you can have them side by side. So we have uh, in this one on the backup, this is the old one, and this is the backup expanded. So to make this simple, we're going to go to our new Zebo that we just downloaded. This is the one I just downloaded, 3.29 Echo. And we're going to copy some things over. We're going to copy over the, uh, the libraries because uh, I have a specific one I use, which is the WestJet one. Uh, you could copy everything over if it's, if it's the same, doesn't really matter. I'm going to just copy over the WestJet one because that's the one I use. And then I'm also going to copy over the preferences file right here because the preferences file has all of my camera angles that I've set. And I don't really want to have to go through and set those every single time. And I'm going to replace it. 
And then the other thing that I do is I also keep a Zeebo version uh, text file so that I know what file I have. And basically all I've done is I've created a file of what, what add-ons I'm using related to Zeebo and what version so I know the last time that I was I patched it. So I'm now using 3.29 Echo. Today's date is August 18th. And then I just hit save. So that if I ever needed to know which version I was using, I can just go into this file. So now that that's done, uh, we're basically ready to go. We have the new file uh, installed and then the backup one is also good to go. So we can close all of these and we can open X-Plane to make sure that it's going to work and we should be good. So now we've loaded into X-Plane and we're ready to start. So we're going to go new flight and we can see that uh, the Zeebo aircraft is there. Now because this is a new install we can see that it has the American uh, the American library so I'm going to change that to WestJet because I, it's the WestJet I use. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the plane actually loads. So I'm going to take all of the fuel and weight out of it. I'm going to make sure that it doesn't start with uh, with the engines running. And I'm going to load into X-Plane to make sure that everything works correctly. Okay, so we've successfully loaded into X-Plane. And uh, now we're going to make sure that the plane is working and that our camera angle is copied over. So if I go to my pilot in command view, you can see that it's set. If I go to my overhead panel view, you can see it's also set. By copying over that preferences file, all of your camera angles are, are working, so you don't have to redo that. So let's just double check to make sure the aircraft actually uh, is going to run properly. So we're going to go to the overhead panel. We're going to turn on a couple things. Uh, we're going to turn on standby battery power. Standby power is set to auto, that's correct. Emergency lights, and we're going to turn on ground power. That's good. So we can see the aircraft is obviously working and uh, everything looks good. So with that, we have updated to a newer version of the Zeebo mod and uh, everything is working. So that's great. I'm also going to include in the description a link to my Zeebo checklist about how to power the aircraft up from cold and dark. You can download that file and use it for your own instruction. I'm also going to link a video uh, to the same procedure of me starting up the aircraft from cold and dark but a video tutorial with the same checklist and I'm also going to include a link to all of the uh, all of the libraries that you can download for the 737-800. Uh, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Be sure to hit subscribe to be notified when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching!